Okay, let's take a look of number 18 one more time. So earlier we used the quadratic formula and then we ran through the calculation. And our answer was 2 thirds plus or minus 2i square root of 2 over 3. Well, how do we know if this is actually the correct answer? How do we make sure that we didn't make any mistakes throughout the calculation? And this is how we can do it. I am going to show you guys how to use my favorite calculator um, to check answer for us. So you still need to um, show all the work on the exams. But after you box your answer, um, use this calculator. You can use this calculator um, to check the answer for you. The reason I like this calculator is that it has many different features compared to the other calculator. One of them is that it actually solves these quadratic equations for you. Okay, so let me turn on the, calc uh, the calculator. And the best place to go uh, is the mode. So hit mode. And then we are solving an equation. So that's number 5. EQN, that's for equation. So hit 5, option 5. Then notice that for option 3, I have ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. And that's exactly what we have, the quadratic equation. Okay, so press 3. And then we have three places that allows us to enter the value of a, b, and c. So a is equal to 3, so press 3 and hit equal. And b is negative 4, so use this as a negative, negative 4 for b, equal. And then for c, uh, I need positive 4, so put it 4, equal. So we don't need to use the quadratic formula, right? We don't need to punch in this onto the calculator. Just need to go to the equation solver function. Then, after you punch in all that, just hit equal. Then, let's see, uh, the, the calculator gives us x1. He says we have 2 thirds plus 2 square root of 2 um, over 3i. And that's exactly what we have for the first one, right? And then if you press the down button, x2, the second answer, 2 thirds, but instead of a plus, we have a minus. And that's exactly what this means, plus or minus. We have two answers. We have two answers. And that's exactly what we got on the paper, right? Even though on the calculator, that they put an i at the end, right? But it's okay. If you have the i in between of the number 2 or in front of the square root, uh, it's the same as if you put the i at the end. So x1, x2. And this is how you use the calculator. This is how you use this calculator um, to check the quadratic equations for you. Okay? And then um, one thing I want to show you is that if you erase this, if you press an all clear, if you press on, right? It's going to go back to the quadratic equation solver, right? Um, let's say I want to just do some regular computation as like 3 plus 7, things like that. Well, um, how to get back to the original, um, the original mode, the normal mode? It's like you go to mode, and then hit number 1. Okay, hit number 1. And then you can get back to the regular calculator. You can just punch in like 9 times 7, things like that. So very cool. So very cool, you can use this calculator um, to check quadratic equations for you on the exams, things like that. But you still need to show all the work, okay?